dog to me so that I'm not walking along the front of the group like a primary school teacher on my own. I don't really like that. Uh, Rebecca, mm -hmm. Hong Kong as well. First time here. Uh, we're going to cross the road and we're going to head onto this corner here and start looking at some street Up in these trees behind you, there are some stick men. Time. It had been there for a really long time. Um, for most of a lot of people's lifetime, they just didn't remember the war as well. Um, the East has always been a less prosperous, a less rich area than the West. This piece up here is one of my favourites in the whole city. Um, it's by a guy called Emmanuel Alanas, and I really like if you sort of squint your eyes, then it like all blurs together. Hi okay, guys! Uh, I like in general that you, like the guide showed those spots that you would just go the street and wouldn't notice and those street are that she, you don't lift your head up so it's really nice to see those. And she got us very juicy things on the artist and how we made it so it was quite interesting. Yes. Our tour guide, tour guide was very excited and passionate and friendly. We've just finished our free walking tour here in Berlin at the Street Art and it was really good. We learned an awful lot and saw things we never would have seen otherwise. And uh, yeah, wish we could take it home with us. Yeah, she was a really great tour guide. She really knew her stuff. Um, she took us around districts we haven't been yet. It's a complete contrast to West Berlin, which we did yesterday. So yeah, totally recommend it. There's my favourite one is she's got him up on a donut kebab stand. She's got the cat like, uh, like, like on a stick and he's turning around and she's just kind of peeling strips of cat off. 